Afternoon guys, Dave Canterbury with another Self-Reliance Outfitters quick tip. Today, we're going to talk about double staking. Stay with me. Okay guys, there's gonna be times that you're going to set up your camp and you're not going to be able to avoid a high wind area. An area like this hilltop that we're on now is open, so it's a good place to pitch a tent, but at the same time, because it's a hilltop, it can be very windy. When you're in a windy scenario like that, sometimes double staking, especially if the ground is soft, is a prudent idea. So, how do we do that? Well, it's a very simple process, really. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this stake out of the ground. Okay, so here we have a guy line that has a loop. And that loop was where we would put our stake if we were staking this out with a single stake and adjust our guy line tension from there. What we're going to wanna to do is we're going to want to come in here and slide our tensioner, if we have one, down a little bit lower and we're going to want to take a marline spike which just means we turn a loop over in the line climb up the line and pull a loop through and we're going to want to put our first stake through that marline spike which will lock it in place and it won't move and put that stake in the ground now we're going to come in and give ourselves just a little bit of room on this tensioning device to tighten it up extend it fully out behind the other stake and put another stake directly behind that one at a 45 degree angle and then tighten the tensioning device up between the two stakes just like this. So once we have a double stake scenario, even if the wind were to pick up and pull this stake out, we still have a second stake that's holding everything in place, even if this one becomes loose or gets pulled out of the ground. At the same time, this one's not going to come out of the ground first ever because it's only under tension here and all of your wind tension is coming from this end coming to the front stake so this is the only one you risk getting pulled out in the beginning and you still have a safety stake in the back at that point all right guys that was just a simple technique to make your tent more secure in a high wind area i appreciate your views and we appreciate your support i'll be back with another tip as soon as i can thanks guys